We're making a really simple scented sugar scrub, but in a chalk painted mason jar. So two parts to this project. The first part is painting the jar. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients to the sugar scrub out of the way. You wanna do this first so that the jar can be drying. And to do that, I'm just taking a really inexpensive chip brush like this, and I need a jar of water. And I'm working with American Decor Chalky Finish Paint. This paint has a mineral base, so it allows it to stick to the jar, to the glass. You're gonna make sure that your glass is nice and clean. You're gonna start by dipping your brush into water. Mine was already dipped. And then dipping it into the paint. That makes a nice wet paint finish. It doesn't feel like it's doing much of anything, but having that dipped into the water first allows the paint to go on nice and smooth. So you're gonna go all the way around, give your, your jar a first coating of the paint with a very watery brush. Allow that to dry and then give your jar a second coating with this chalk paint. After it's dried on the second coating, you're gonna have a nice finish like this a nice matte finish and into that matte finish and I would say I would do this the next day even just so that it's fully dry but you're able to come in and give this quilted jar a sanding so that you can actually see it emphasizes the quilting of the jar so you can do this on larger mason jars I just think that these little short jars are super sweet and this, the recipe for the sugar scrub, which we're gonna get into, is so simple. You can pass the recipe on to, if you're giving this away as a gift, you can pass the recipe on and they can refill this jar multiple times. So that's the jar. The next part is the recipe for our sugar scrub. I'm gonna start with whatever size jar I'm working with. So in this case, this is four ounces of sugar. And I'm gonna put that in my bowl and then I'm going to take a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. So sometimes I add a little bit more. This is melted beeswax. So I'm gonna give myself a heaping teaspoon and let it spill over a little bit. Um, sometimes, depends, I might add a little bit more, but let's see how this goes. And I'm gonna give myself some, uh, the same amount of uh, hand soap. So this is, uh, or dishwashing liquid. I am using palm olive clean and pure and clear, no unnecessary ingredients. I don't do this with a scented soap because I actually add an essential oil to my sugar scrub so I control the scent there. But if you use a scented soap, that will add a light scent to your scrub. And I'm gonna stir this up until it gets to be the consistency that I like it. If it's too wet at this point, I can add a little more sugar. And if it's too dry, I will typically come in and add just a splash more of the melted coconut oil. The coconut oil is really moisturizing to your skin. The soap, I know some sugar scrubs don't use a soap, but I like the way the soap kind of helps get the stickiness of the sugar off of my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all up. And then it's time to add in your scent. I'm gonna use lavender, it's very soothing. And for this four ounces, I'm gonna use probably 10 drops of the lavender oil. And continue to stir that in. So just to recap, this is four ounces of sugar and let's call our generous teaspoon an actual tablespoon. So a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Unscented is best. And then you're gonna be able to just put this in your jar. You definitely want to gift this in something that's a seal, sealed jar because if this just sits out, the air gets to it, it gets a little bit crunchy. 
And you can always take it out into a dish and stir in a little bit more of the coconut oil or a little bit more of the dish soap. And that'll get you back to the consistency that you like. It takes a very little bit to be a nice scrub. And what happens is that the sugar acts as an exfoliant, gets all that dry skin off your hands, and the coconut oil acts as a moisturizer. So put your cap on. You can decorate the edge of the cap with some twine, but there's a handmade sugar scrub that you're not going to want to stop at just one.